NVIDIA mooning it, NVIDIA taking it to the moon. $927 today, Thursday. Let's look at it. Guys, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Let's take a peek at what NVIDIA is doing here today, guys. So we see here $927 per share of NVIDIA. Why is it so high? Why is it going to the moon? That's what we're trying to figure out. Let's look at the one-year chart. One-year chart here, it went from $232 to $927 in one year. This is phenomenal growth, guys. Let's see what the analysts say. Analyst on this site says it is a strong buy. Right there, strong buy. 39 of the analysts, 39 and 55 say it's a strong buy. That's what the uh, earnings per share is looking like here. 11.45%, that's a surprise. Forecast is the dark blue. And the reported is the turquoise color here. You can see that they've been outperforming their forecast by just a little bit. Earnings history, year over year, 486%. That is something else, guys. Let's see, why is it, why is it doing that, you're asking? Why is it going so high? What do they, what do they have that the other chip manufacturers don't have? Let's look at some financials here. So it says in uh, 2023, they had $26.97 billion of revenue. And 2024, it's saying 60.92. But we're not quite, we're only in the first quarter of 24. I guess that's, fiscal year ends January 27th. Okay. January 27th is fiscal year ending. So they made a lot of money last year. Pretty good year before that. Pretty good year before that. But they... Almost doubled their earnings. Cost of goods sold sixteen billion. The year before that was eleven billion. Gross profit. They went from sixteen billion dollars of gross profit to forty four point ninety two. Forty five billion dollars of gross profit in just one year of selling these chips. What are these chips going at? Phones, computers, cars, electronics, your refrigerator has daggum chips in it now your ovens, your microwave, everything has some sort of chips in it. Your security cameras, your regular recording cameras, everything has a chip in it, guys, and everyone's got to buy these chips. Apparently, they are the best chips in the world. We will find out. Let me click over here and read something from this other website. It says... You're not alone in thinking that you missed NVIDIA rally. The stock just seems to keep getting higher with no end in sight. And the shares attain new heights. It's only reasonable to think that at some point NVIDIA stock has to return to Earth. Yeah, an unstoppable juggernaut. The temptation to take money off the table is great. After more than tripling in value last year, NVIDIA stock is up another 73% so far in 2024. Adding roughly $925 billion to its market cap since January 2nd. That's two months, guys. January 2nd. And we're only eight weeks into the new year. From its bottom in October 22, NVIDIA shares have soared 650% at some point. It has to come to an end, right? Right? It's going to go. Maybe. Well, sort of. The stock is riding the, the tsunami of artificial intelligence. All this AI going on. We need those. We need those chips for this AI. It shares a leapfrog in valuation of Amazon and Alphabet to become the third largest stock in the world by capitalization. It is always a foregone conclusion video would achieve a $2 trillion valuation. And now people wonder if it will soon join Apple, a $3 trillion valuation. Well, we don't know. I don't know. You don't know. I don't think it's going to stay that high. Really? How could it stay that high? Let's see what analysts, we already clicked on analysts. We looked at the summary. What's the forecast? Let's see what we got here. Let's see what this forecast in here. This is where it's at. That's crazy. That is crazy from one year ago to now. Way up here. 
That is something else, guys. I don't know. I don't know what. It, like, I didn't buy any. I should have bought some. I didn't buy any because I thought it was going to drop back down. I thought it was going to hit four or $500 and drop, and it did not drop. It did not drop at all. Price target. Let's see. Where I clicked on that, I know there was something else on here I wanted to click on. That shows a forecast of where they want it to be. It's forecasting $877, but we're past $877. So it might drop back down. I don't know. We'll see in the future. Here it is. There's a little guy I wanted to look at. They're looking at $877 for the next 12 months price target. But as you can see, we're way above that already. What is... I wonder if it shows show us what his competitors are doing. So, the... Who's holding it? Vanguard, BlackRock, Fidelity, State Street. They're all holding this bad boy. What does NVIDIA do? Some people don't know what NVIDIA does. So NVIDIA is a corporation. NVIDIA Corporation is a full stack computing infrastructure company. The company accelerates computing to help solve the computational problems. The company's segments include compute and networking and graphics. Compute and networking segments include its data center accelerated computer platforms, networking, automotive, automotive and artificial intelligence, cockpit autonomous driving development agreements, and autonomous vehicle solutions. That's a lot of information there, guys. Electronic vehicle, computing platforms, NVIDIA, AI, Enterprise, and other software. The graphics segment includes GeForce GPUs for gaming and personal computers, PCs, the GeForce Now game streaming service and related infrastructure and solutions for gaming platforms, Quadro Media RTX GPUs for enterprise workstation graphics, virtual GPU software for cloud-based virtual and virtual computing automotive platforms, and infotainment systems, and Omniverse enterprise software for building and operating metaverse and three-dimensional internet applications. It incorporated in 1998. So that's what we know about NVIDIA so far. I don't, I mean, I should have got it. I didn't get it. It's a little like now. Their dividends aren't quite strong enough. I, would, I probably wouldn't have bought it when it was $200 because the dividend is weak. I do long-term growth dividend investing. Want to hold dividends forever and ever, but... If it would have been at two hundred dollars and stayed at two hundred and went to two hundred five, went to two ten, I still wouldn't have bought it because the dividend's too small. I don't think it's gonna stay up this high. It's cool right now. People are on this Nvidia rocket ship to the moon, and that's great for them. If they invested a long time ago, that's awesome, you know. But one day they're gonna have to dump this stock, and hopefully it doesn't just rock bottom. I don't know. I appreciate you watching the channel, guys. My name is Dividend Rick. Give me some thumbs up. Make sure you follow the links in the description. I sure do appreciate it. Peace.